In this video, we're going to go through installing the software that you need for this course. Uh, we are going to be using Apache NetBeans as our IDE. So if I come to Google and I just type in NetBeans, uh, it brings me up and shows me a link to the Apache NetBeans site. So we can click on that. And then let's go to the download button right there for Apache NetBeans. And this gives us information about downloading Apache NetBeans 16, which is the latest version. However, uh, we need to read this page a little bit because if you come down here, it points out that Apache NetBeans 16 requires JDK 11 plus, and it's officially uh, and officially support running on JDK 11 or JDK 17. So we need to also install the Java Development Kit. Uh, and technically we have to install the Java development kit before we install NetBeans but I wanted to bring you here to see this we need JDK 17 so let's open another window here and just type JDK in Google and it will bring us up to the Oracle site for Java downloads if we click on that we can see that Java 19 and Java 17 are available now so sometimes we often think, hey, I want to get the latest, greatest version. Uh, but in this case, NetBeans has not been fully tested and integrated with Java 19 yet. So we want Java 17. So right here are the downloads. These are for 19. We have to click the little button right here for 17. And we come out, we pick our operating system. I am on Windows. And I will take the 64-bit installer version. I'll click that and download it, which I've already done to save time. So that's where I would find that download for Windows, if you're using Windows, which most people probably are. So download the Java Development Kit. Over here, we can go ahead and get the installer for Apache NetBeans. which I click here, I want the 64-bit, the EXE installer. I come here and it gives me the website. And when I click on that, it will download the program. And I will leave that for you to do. I have already downloaded it. So two things that you need. Java Development Kit 17, Apache NetBeans version 16. All right, once those are downloaded, you will install uh, the JDK first. So here's my download for JDK 17.0.5, the Windows version 64-bit, binary.exe. Double click it. It asks if I want to make changes to my device, and you probably can't see that because Windows blanks it out on the recording. Um, but I'll say yes. And the installer comes up, and it does not take very long guides us through the installation process and pretty much just take the defaults on. Copies the files to our computer. Close it down. And then the next thing we want to do is install Apache NetBeans 16. This is the binary for Windows 64 bit. Double click that. It says, do you want to allow it to make changes? Yes, I do. And then it says configuring the installer and it says it's going to install, install the base IDE integrated development environment it's going to install the packages to that you need to do Java standard edition it's also going to install the packages for Java enterprise edition and for doing HTML and JavaScript or PHP um, we're obviously just going to be doing Java in this particular course but you can use it for other languages as well Click Next, accept the terms of the license agreement. It's a it's free software, it's Apache, open source. I'll take the default. It tells me the default installation folder is not empty because I've had it installed before. But it also asks me which version of the JDK do I want to use by default. And right now, 
I've only installed 17 on this computer. I uninstalled everything else. You might see multiple versions, but I would suggest uh, go ahead and use 17 because we know that it's compatible with 16, the version 16 in NetBeans. And it's telling me my installation folder is not empty. Pause the video a second and empty that out so I can finish this. All right, I went out and deleted that folder so that I could finish the installation and demonstrate it to you. Um, it'll automatically want to check for updates. It can't hurt to do that, even though we just downloaded it. There could be something that's been updated since they made that package. It runs through and it only takes a minute or so at the max. Maybe less than half a minute. I'll pause the video and come back when it completes. All right, that was about 30 seconds, maybe maybe 45. And it, it also downloaded and installed a couple updates. So there were a couple updates, even though I had just downloaded that at this point. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish. And Apache is, uh, NetBeans is installed. JDK is installed. So I should be able, there's my Apache NetBeans 16. I've done everything right. Beans should open. Might take a little while the first time here. And there it is. Good to go. I've got a start page. I've got another little application a video I just made a little bit ago showing how to use printf if you've seen that video I'm actually doing the installation after I did that and it runs and works so it looks like you could do a little hello world in there if you want to all right should be all set